This Honda mower is quickly becoming my new favorite and I find myself using it more often when compared to my other mower, but there's one thing that really distracts me and it's this oil stain on the dipstick side of the mowing deck. I've heard of people not performing any maintenance on them before, but not wiping off spilled oil from the deck is just plain lazy maintenance. In today's video, we look at this Honda mower and the problem is that it has an oil stain on the side of the deck that I really want to get rid of. In the last video on this mower, I made a comment about wanting ideas on how to get rid of the oil stain. I then received plenty of ideas on how to go about removing it. So here are the items that were recommended to me by some of the viewers. Many are just household cleaners while some are a bit more industrial. We're going to try each product out using steel wool, magic eraser, a brush, and if need be, a wire brush. The first thing I want to see is if any of the products will even remove the oil stain in the slightest way. Then we'll try it again using something more abrasive. The first product I want to use is rubbing alcohol. I'm going to break the seal on this brand new bottle and then pour some of it onto the stain. I'll then use a microfiber towel to see if it will come up off the deck. To be honest, I'm curious if it will even dissolve the oil, let alone remove it. After scrubbing on it for about 30 seconds, I don't see any of the oil on the towel, nor do I see any difference on the part that I was scrubbing on. Now, even though I'm pretty certain that the alcohol is not doing anything to the stain, I still want to try using the magic eraser on it. The best part is that since the eraser is white, we should be able to see if any of the oil has transferred to it. After scrubbing for a while, it looks like there might be the slightest hint of color on the very edge of the eraser. However, in this case, this is not what I would call an effective way to remove this oil stain. The next product I want to use is Purple Power, and it's supposed to be an industrial cleaner and degreaser. According to the instructions, I'm not supposed to use it on painted surfaces. Now, this gives me a lot of hope because it means it should be quite corrosive and should have no problems dissolving the oil stain. Now I'm not supposed to let it dry either, so after applying it, I'm going to use the magic eraser. That way I can see if any of the stain will come off the paint and onto the eraser. Now after only a few seconds of use, I can see what looks like some of the oil on the edge of the eraser. However, it's not as much as I was expecting, but at least it's more than what the alcohol did. So right now, Purple Power is in the lead. The next product I'm going to use is Cleaning Bleach. Now I was quite surprised to see this product come up in the comments, but it's worth a shot. I'm not going to pour it onto the stain. Instead, I'm going to pour it into a bowl first and then use a brush, which was part of the recommendation for its use. Now after 30 seconds of scrubbing, I'm going to use a paper towel to see if any of the stain has started to dissolve, but unfortunately it looks like I don't see anything on it. I'm not sure if this was a real recommendation because right now I don't think it's going to work on this stain. The next product I'm going to use is a fan favorite for all those who have ultrasonic cleaners. It's of course Simple Green. I have a lot of hope for this one. Now the instructions call for a one-to-one -one dilution for grease and oil. However, since this oil stain is not fresh, I'm going to use it straight. I'm also going to use the brush on it for about 30 seconds before using a paper towel. Unfortunately, after all that effort, I don't see any of the oil on the towel, which is quite disappointing to be honest. If any of the products had a chance, I thought this would have been it. At this point, I really didn't expect any of the products to work well enough to take off this stain. The next product is something that was recommended to me by a friend who I've known for over 20 years. It's a degreaser from a popular freight store where you can buy cheap tools and a very popular Honda clone engine. Now this is supposed to be as dangerous as Purple Power, so for ease of use, I'm going to put it in an empty spray bottle of Super Clean. I'm only going to use a brush right now until I find something that's going to dissolve the stain. After that, I'll use something a little bit more aggressive. Now after about 30 seconds of scrubbing, I'm going to wipe it with a paper towel and see if any of it will transfer to it. So it looks like we've got a new leader because there's a decent amount of oil on the very edge of the towel. I'm not sure if the rest of the discoloration on the towel is oil or the cleaner, but the darker part is what I'm most interested in. Now it's hard to tell if the stain has started to disappear after all the cleaning we've done, so here's a side-by-side -side of before we started cleaning to what it looks like now. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think I see a very slight difference, which I hate to say is very disappointing. I figured by now it was going to look much better after several rounds of cleaning. Now I still have one more product I want to test and it's something that I think should work best on the stain and it's a rubbing compound. The one issue is that I don't have a buffer to use so I'm going to do this by hand which I'll admit is not the best choice. I'm still going to give it a try anyway. The main focus of this test is to see which of the products will cut through the stain and I think this will give me an idea if it's going to work or not. 
Unfortunately, after scrubbing for some time, I don't think it did anything to the stain, which is not what I was expecting. Now, to give it a better shot, I'm going to use the magic eraser to see if it'll help out, but after using the same method, I still don't see any of the stain on it. So, unfortunately, I won't be using this product on here. I figured using something abrasive would help to remove the stain, but I think I'm going to have to use the most abrasive product I have. So only a few of the products seem to work to dissolve the stain, but what if I used steel wool with each of the products? Would it make a difference? To find out, I'm going to go through all the products again and see if the steel wool would somehow help the product to cut through the stain. I realize that the wool also has blue soap in it, but I don't think it's going to affect the results. To be honest, I really didn't think this was going to help out at all because if the product didn't dissolve the stain, what was the steel wool going to do? Now surprisingly, after 30 seconds of scrubbing, it looks like the alcohol, which didn't do anything the first time around, might have taken a tiny bit of the stain off. Now it's not much, but it's more than it did the first time. Now after wiping it with the paper towel, there's none of it on it, so it means that the steel wool did a pretty decent job of removing the stain and not the alcohol. Now, Purple Power on its own did cut into the stain, so I'm hopeful that using the steel wool is only going to make it work better. But after scrubbing it, it looks like it was wrong about it. I don't see any more of the stain on the pad as we did using just alcohol, which is really strange. Now, even after wiping it with the paper towel, I don't see any of the stain on it either. Just out of morbid curiosity, I'm going to use the bleach again with the steel wire brush. If you wanted more abrasiveness, this is the one you have to watch. Now the bleach on its own didn't do anything to the stain, but I'm hoping the wire brush will allow it to penetrate it and maybe lift it up out of the paint. And to no surprise, the wire brush in the bleach did absolutely nothing to the stain. At this point, I'm just going to put it back up in the laundry room because this is not going to do anything for the stain. Next up is Simple Green. Now even though it didn't do anything to the stain in the first round, I'm hoping it'll do something like the alcohol did, which surprisingly did something to the stain in the second round. Now after 30 seconds of scrubbing, it looks like it did just that. It looks like there's a hint of oil stain in the pad. However, it's not enough to be an effective cleaner. Also, after using the paper towel, it still didn't dissolve the stain either, which means a mechanical removal is the only thing that might work. The last product I'm going to be using is of course the industrial degreaser that I put into the super clean bottle. Now in the first round of cleaning this proved to be the best as far as dissolving the stain so I'm very hopeful that with the help of the steel wool it's going to remove the majority of it and I can finally get this deck looking like new again. After scrubbing the stain, it looks like it's taken off the most out of the stain of all the products and that means I'm going to be using it when I try to completely remove the stain. To confirm how effective this method is, I'll wipe it down with a paper towel and hopefully there's going to be a lot of brown staining on it. As you can see, not only was there staining on the pad, but it's also dissolved the stain just like it did before, which confirms that this product is what I'm going to use. Now I'm not going to use the rubbing compound again without a buffer so I won't be making a second attempt. So I'm going to start and see just how much of the stain I can remove with basically non-stop cleaning and agitating using the industrial cleaner, the brush, and of course the steel wool. I'm obviously not going to make you watch me scrub on the stain for the next 5 minutes, so I'm only going to show you small segments. Now I'm going to try and clean the upper part of the stain, and that's because it was not included in the previous testing. So after scrubbing for almost 5 minutes on this stain, this is what it looks like. Now to be honest, it looks pretty good, but I didn't get all of the staining out, but I did get the majority of it out, which is what I was hoping for. I was starting to cut into the paint, and that's the reason why I stopped scrubbing. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see just how much better it looks. As you can see, there's a huge difference, so I think I made a good decision using the degreaser and the steel wool. That means I'm going to continue with the same process for the lower part of the stain, and hopefully I get some really good results. But if you've seen my channel before, you know that I don't have the best luck, and unfortunately, things don't work out the way they're supposed to. Now I'm not going to bore you with the real time cleaning, but in the end I scrubbed and sprayed for well over 5 minutes. In fact, I wasn't sure how long I was scrubbing for because the stain never really went away like it did before on the upper portion. I finally stopped and wiped the area clean, and I hate to say it, but I really couldn't tell if there was any real improvement. To be honest, I was expecting the stain to be almost gone, just like the upper portion, but most of it is still there. Instead of a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm just going to toggle between the images first and see if you think there's a huge improvement like what happened on the upper portion. As you can see, there is a slight improvement, but not enough for the amount of work I put into it. Now on the side-by-side, -side, you can see it better, but I hate to say it, I don't want to scrub on the stain for an hour. 
Now at this point, I really feel like taking a shortcut. I've been very patient up until this point, so now I'm going to bring out the big guns. This is a piece of 600 grit sandpaper, and I'm going to wet sand the stain with it. From what I can tell, the stain is embedded in the paint, and the only way to get it out is to sand it out. The only problem is that I can't use the industrial degreaser while sanding it because of how caustic it is to the skin, so instead I'll be using soapy water. Now, I was only sanding on it for less than 3 minutes, so I was expecting the difference to be fairly drastic. I just wish I could have used the degreaser instead. Unfortunately, after wiping the soap and water off, it doesn't look like I did anything to it. So yet again, I didn't get the results I was wanting, and it looks like I'd have better luck going back to the degreaser and the steel wool. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the finished product when compared to the very beginning before any cleaning was done. Now I'm willing to admit that it looks much better, but the fact that it's still visible even after all the work makes me feel like I wasted my time and money on it. But at least I got some data on the cleaners and it turns out my friend was right about the industrial degreaser being the best he's ever used. I guess I'm going to have to live with it because, to be honest, it's only a lawnmower and not a luxury car, but I do feel like my eyes are drawn to it every time I see it. If I get some downtime during the winter months, I might consider stripping the deck and putting some fresh paint on it. That way I don't have to be reminded of this terrible experience. In the end, the mower starts, runs, and cuts. It's just too bad the self-propel doesn't work like it should. More than likely, that's what the next video is going to be about. Now, even though this mower is light enough to push around, having a working self-propel would certainly make it a lot nicer to use. So my question is, should I even waste my precious time even dealing with the deck? Is it going to affect its value when I go and sell it, or should I just put that time into fixing the self-propel instead? Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask me any questions about this project or your own projects, and I hope to see you in the next video.